collection video. So I have like, I have like a small collection of different body sprays and perfumes that I have that I like to use. I just like smelling really good and um, I wanted to show you guys them because I love doing collection videos. You guys love me when I love it when I do collection videos. So I'm going to be just showing you guys all of my perfumes and body sprays and stuff like that. So yeah. So I'm first going to start with the body sprays because that is the smaller of the two categories. So first let's start with the one that I only have one of. And it's this one from Pacifica. It is the Indian Coconut Nectar Hair and um, Body Mist. So this one is in the, sh is in the scent Indian Coconut Nectar. And I will have to say that these are pretty good. I got this about like a year ago and I really liked it. Even though I haven't really used a lot of it, I do really enjoy this. Um, it's very, very like, they have a lot of scents and they have, this one is very, very sweet. Like if you want to like smell like, like coconut, pina colada, different things like that, definitely get this one. I watched a video from this YouTuber named Nisi Pisa. And she did a perfume collection, and um, she talked about these, and I was like, I really want to try one of these, and I got this one. I wanted to get the vanilla one, but I, I don't know why I got the Indian coconut nectar, but I still like this one. I think I'll get the vanilla one next. And also, ignore my eye. I don't know why my eye is red. I think it's also because I got out of the shower, so maybe I got some stuff in my eye. So yeah. So these next three are all from Bath & Body Works, because I love Bath & Body Works. Now here's one that I don't use a lot. This one is Dark Kiss. This is their just a body mist, and I don't know why I don't like this one. It's just like, it's not like, I love floral scents, but this scent isn't really that much of a good kind of floral. But yeah, this is Dark Kiss. It's basically brand new. I only used this a couple of times. And this next one I really love for like, just like a, a really nice, fresh scent. It is the Gingham from Bath & Body Works. And I really, really do love this one um, for like a really nice fresh scent. Like if I don't want to smell like really crazy, like really sweet or florally, I will gravitate through this. And I have one that I don't have with me right now, but it is the Cucumber Melon, I believe. That's also like a really good one. I have that in the bathroom because I like using that for an after shower and spray to go with my deodorant to go on top of my clothes. And this one is just a um, really nice, um, like neutral, just neutral, fresh scent, nothing too crazy. Like this next one that I love, 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 love. This is a Boardwalk Daffy from Bath the Body Works. Now I am partial to very sweet, florally, just very girly scents. And I love this one, especially if I'm going out. I like wearing this one um, when I go, like, especially when I, like, go to the boardwalk or the beach. I love wearing this because I love smelling like a piece of taffy from the candy stand you get. And it is just, just delicious. And I just love really, really sweet scents. And I actually, I think I got this on sale. sprays and first let's talk about this perfume that I don't use but I just use as decoration this is an Avon perfume that I got 
want is a gift from my grandmother and it's like like almost empty but I don't wear it I just like to have it as decoration and it smells like it's kind of gone bad because it smells like soap and I heard that like when a perfume goes bad it smells like soap and this smells like soap so I think this is like old and it's just an old Avon like it's not a spray it's one of those perfumes that you dab on your fingers it has a little hole in it but it's still a really cute container but I just use it as a little decoration to go with all my other perfumes all right here's one that I do use that I do really like this is a perfume that I got from Hawaii and the label is very much faded but this is from forever florals and this is in the shade um, um heavenly leilani i got this on a trip a long time ago from hawaii and and it still smells really good it smells like just really florally very like it's not like tropical like coconut it's like tropical floor like a tropical flower because obviously it's leilani which is like one of the like i think native flowers of uh, hawaii i'm not sure and it is really nice and i really love the scent all right so this is the perfume this is the scent um Actually, um, give me one second. Sorry about that. My mom needed to ask me something. And so, um, the next perfume that I have is the only perfume that I have an empty of. And I really, really, really love this perfume so, 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 so much. And, um, I have the empty and the regular. It is, um, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. So, I have an empty that has like a little bit left, and then I have one that's like, like almost three quarters empty, and these are the small bottles that I get from Marshalls and TJ Maxx, because these are like not as expensive, like, I think the large bottle is like $70, um, these ones are like like half an ounce but these last me a good little while but Viva La Juicy is just that perfect early 2000s floral scent that I love in a perfume um, I think my kind of style of perfume that I like is very early 2000s floral very sugary, very like Pamela Anderson, Jessica Simpson, very much kind of that vibe. And Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy is really good. I haven't used any of the other Viva La Juicy scents. And I also kind of want to get a Paris Hilton scent. I have not gotten one of those before. And I want to get one of those. But Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy is my favorite perfume ever. And then this next one um, is probably like the most unique bottle that I have. And I showed you guys this bottle in my, I think my, um, my most recent video, my skincare video. And it is Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. So I also got this one from Marshalls. Marshalls has a lot of really, really good selection of perfumes. And, um, this perfume is very much like the, um, the, like, also very early 2000s floral, but it's, like, more rosy. Yeah, this one smells a lot more rosy, and I really like it, and just the bottle is really cute. I only have the regular one, and I know the special edition one I think is blonde, but I'm not really looking to get, like, super special ones. I just wanted the perfume because I love the name. I love the bottle design and I just love it, love it, love it so much. Like, and I love these, like, just, um, 
like, I love what a bottle is, just like, really pretty. Like, there is a bottle, I believe, that, of a perfume that isn't just a shoe. Like, like, and I know Marc Jacobs is a lot of, like, really pretty toppers, and I do have some Marc Jacobs perfumes here that I can show you as well. But these, I just love, like, really pretty bottle designs. Like, but if it's, like, really expensive, I won't get it, but if it's, like, a cheap perfume and it has a really good, a really nice scent and a really nice bottle design, I will take it. So, these are my Marc Jacobs perfumes. These are little perfume samplers. These are Daisy and Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. So, I don't have the actual Marc Jacobs perfume because those are like 60, 70, 60, 70 dollars for like a small bottle and like over a hundred dollars for the big, like regular size bottle. And I'm like, girl, no, I'll just get the little samplers and those will last me a good while. And I love Daisy and Daisy Love. I think Daisy is like, is like just really like light florally scent really nice it it's a little bit grandma but then like in a good way and daisy love is very much that early 2000 scent that i really like and i just really love these ones and the bottle is really cute it's a little flower and i think it's perfect for mark jacobs that has the really really cool like topper with like the bow and like the cat and it's very much like you know those like bags like little girls would have like the early 2000s where it would have like little french cats and little like five tower and like the really like skinny girl drawing and like a beret and stuff it's just like it gives me that vibe and i really like it Alright, next perfume is another like perfume sample type thing. And it is this Moschino perfume. I also got this. This is Moschino Toy 2. This, uh, this is my, I don't know if this is like actual Moschino. Because I learned that um, people will fake luxury items and put it in like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. So I'm not sure, but I looked it up. It is like the same price as I got it from like Ross. I got this and Vivala, my refill Vivala Juicy and another perfume that I have from on my birthday from Ross. And I really like I love Ross for getting like perfumes and stuff. And this perfume right here is um, really good. It's much it's like it's not florally but it's very much more gender neutral something if i want to go out and i don't want to wear something florally just like the gingham gingham body spray i'll wear this and a lot of these perfumes are less than 20 dollars actually um believe it or not i think the most expensive one i have is the um the people that you see is and the pink friday at 20 dollars and um they're really good and i really like them and that mosquito one is really cute and i've always wanted something really something mosquito and mosquito is extremely expensive so if i can only get a perfume um like a little tiny perfume i am perfectly fine with that and the last and final thing is like a really like one of my favorite bottle designs ever it is Curious by Britney Spears. I should, I think I showed this off last time in my also my skincare video. But Curious by Britney Spears is a new addition to the family of my perfumes on the same like purchase. Like I don't buy perfumes often. Um but this one is very much in the same vein of like just very like early 2000s florally scents and I really really love this um and the bottle is really pretty I want to get fantasy I think it is the like circle bottle that's pink I want to get that one too and other perfume like Britney Spears perfumes I just kind of want to build up a collection of very like early 2000s so when like you know now that every like um beauty not beauty every like famous person is making a skincare line or a makeup line and all that stuff like even though some of those makeup lines and skincare lines are like really good it's very much the perfume of our time like i remember so 
sorry about that. My mom was saying goodnight to me. So, um, yeah. Britney Spears Curious. Really good. Really solid perfume. Alrighty. So that is all the perfumes that I have. Let me know, you guys, if you guys like room perfume. What's your guys' favorite? And maybe I'll look into them. Like, give me some, like, more cheaper perfumes, perfumes that you like. I've been, like, looking into, like, a lot of, like, early 2000s perfumes because I feel like early 2000s makeup, I'm, like, not really, I can't really do a lot of early 2000s makeup on my canvas, but I love perfumes, I love accessories, I love bags, so let me know any perfumes that you guys like to wear or any body sprays or anything like that, and yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow the Instagram down in the doobly do. No, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a nice and safe day. Bye.